Hello and welcome to Infinity. A variant on the basic curves control is the horizontal curve, which is actually really quite easy and has sort of some interesting advantages. So, what we do is we go to Adjustments and bring in Curves. And if I bring the left-hand one, which is the blacks, up to here, halfway, so what you do is wherever you are here you go up to the curve and bounce across so this is the output and this is the input you bring the other one down so you're going across the the middle there and if you want to you can see make this 0.5 there and at the other end make that 0.5 and that would be perfectly along the edge there but you may also want to move it, so it's not really much of a worry. So, we've now got completely grey, because wherever you go here, you start off here, you go up to the curve and bounce across, you're always going to end up at halfway, which is grey. So, but what we do know is that grey is transparent in the contrast blend modes. So I go here, and this is the overlay and downwards here. So let's just use the overlay usually works out quite well. And now we just start pushing it about the place. So if I go down here to the shadows and pull this up, it's lightening up the shadows here. And the rest of the curve is coming up there, so I can pull this down so I can darken off the lights. And what you'll notice here is that I'm pushing it around quite a long way that doing ordinary curves, it would look pretty strange. But here we've got an awful lot of leeway to do an awful lot of things. You can, if you like, anchor the middle point and then push down the shadows and the light separately, even getting some sort of strange double bumpy effect like this. But you're still getting a picture that looks pretty good. And even just play around. Sometimes it'll go, yeah, that's gone off, isn't it? It'll go out, but it's surprising how much you can do whilst having, even creating some sort of interesting effects. And you can push the end points as well, if you want to as well. So I can go actually way off here, but, but it's, it's taking, say, basically the overlay and pushing this around a bit, but keeping it as a principle of being how far is it away from grazed that's what's making the change anyway that's it very simple play with it see what you think another tool in the toolbox and thank you very much for watching